Okay, so you look up at the night sky and see all those stars, right? Makes you wonder if we're really the only ones out here. Well, something cool is happening. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is now up there, acting like a super-powered magnifying glass, and it's giving us a much better look at planets far, far away. Recently, the JWST focused on this exoplanet called K2-18b, and scientists got really excited. Turns out K2-18b seems to have water vapor, which could mean it's able to support life. Even more interesting, it has a molecule that's often linked to life on Earth. This could be huge for us, like waiting for the big announcement that, yeah, there's life on other planets. This video is all about that possibility. We're checking out what's happening with K2-18b, digging into the science behind it, and thinking about how it could totally change how we see the universe. So K2-18b orbits a star that's 120 light years away. It's a super Earth, kind of like a mix between Earth and Neptune. We don't have anything like it in our solar system. It's smaller than Neptune, but it's still weird, which makes it hard for scientists to figure out what it's really like. We can kind of compare it to rocky planets like Earth or gas giants like Jupiter, but it's still a mystery. The cool thing is that K2-18b is in the habitable zone of its star, which suggests there might be liquid water on the surface, just like our oceans. But it's way closer to its star than Earth is to the Sun. So a year on K2-18b is only 13 Earth days. Luckily, its star doesn't give off as much heat as our Sun. So the planet isn't burning up. That's how we were able to spot water vapor in the air, which is a big deal because it could mean there are signs of life. Besides water vapor, the JWST also found methane and carbon dioxide. Methane is interesting because it absorbs sunlight quickly, so finding it at all is pretty cool. But what's really exciting is the possibility of dimethyl sulfide DMS. On Earth, DMS is mostly made by tiny ocean creatures. If we find DMS on K2-18b, it could mean there's microbial life there. Even though the planet gets a lot of radiation, if K2-18b has a stable atmosphere like Earth, even with lots of hydrogen, its oceans could be a bit warmer than ours. Because it's so close to its star, the water might not totally evaporate, which is key for supporting life. Some scientists think that surface water might be common on these ocean-covered exoplanets. Back in 2021, a physicist named Niku Midhusudhan came up with the idea of Hycean planets. These planets are bigger than Earth, have thick hydrogen atmospheres, and probably have huge oceans. They could be much heavier than Earth and almost twice as big. Even though they might be around 200 degrees Celsius, they wouldn't be boiling hot because of the massive ocean, which could make up most of the planet's weight. This ocean could have what it takes for bacteria to live. Their thick atmospheres trap heat so water can stay liquid farther away from the star than on rocky planets. If we find life, it can change the view radically, since bigger worlds are easier to spot. Hycean planets are good places to look for life. Dr. Madhusudhan's team is still using the JWST to study K2-18b. But even with fancy tech, finding ocean worlds is tough. To figure out what's going on with K2-18b, scientists spent five hours collecting data in two parts. They watched as K2-18b passed in front of its star. As the planet moved, the JWST grabbed light that passed through the planet's atmosphere. This light leaves behind a spectral fingerprint when it interacts with the molecules in the air. It's like a prism splitting light into a rainbow. By seeing which colors are missing, scientists can figure out which molecules are in the atmosphere. This tells us a lot about the planet. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share it so others can watch too. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Imagine a world 124 light years away orbiting a red dwarf star in the Leo constellation. It is known as K2-18b. People are very interested in it. Scientists think K2-18b might be a Hycean world, which means it's larger than Earth and has huge oceans and a hydrogen atmosphere. That makes it a great place to look for life. These planet atmospheres make them harder to search for using normal telescopes. The James Webb Space Telescope JWST, is made to be able to see deeper into space. It lets scientists study what's in the air of exoplanets. With K2-18b, JWST found methane and carbon dioxide in the air. If these gases are in the right amounts, it could mean there's life, 
but it could also be caused by other things, so we need to look more. On Earth, DMS is made by tiny ocean life. If we find DMS in K2-18 BS air, it would be a good sign of life. There are a lot of DMS, which is interesting, but scientists are being careful. Right now, the DMS signal isn't 100% sure, so we can't say for sure that it's there. Plus, DMS could be made without life too. That means we need to do more tests to see if it's really there and what it means. K2-18b is a big step in trying to answer if we're alone in the universe. It doesn't prove there's life out there, but it gives us new things to explore. Studying Hycean planets could change how we think about where life can exist. As technology gets better, we're more likely to find proof of life on other planets. The hunt for what's out there is just beginning. Future missions will keep watching this mysterious planet. Each time we look, we learn more about planets far away and if there could be life there. The universe is more mysterious than we thought. Scientists are using data from telescopes to improve their ideas about exoplanet atmospheres. Each new thing we learn helps us answer old questions about our place in the universe. This is more than just about space. If we find even tiny life on another planet, it would change how we think about biology, philosophy, and what it means to be human. It would suggest that life isn't rare, but something that happens when the conditions are right. That's why K2-18b is so interesting to scientists and everyone else. It's not just a planet far away, but a chance to see how life might form in the galaxy. If there's life there, it could be very different from what we know made to fit a hydrogen atmosphere in deep oceans. Still, scientists say we need to be patient and careful. We need to check claims of life very well to avoid being wrong. Being too quick to announce something can hurt the search for life. So teams from different fields, astronomy, planetary science, chemistry, and astrobiology, are working together to get a full picture of K2-18b. They're making better tools and planning future missions to study these ocean worlds. In the years to come, the search for life will be more focused because of what we're learning from K2-18b and similar discoveries. Future telescopes and space missions will try to find signs of life with great accuracy. For now, K2-18b is one of the most interesting possibilities. It makes us think about life in different ways and stay curious and determined. As we look out for others, we're also learning about ourselves and our desire to explore and understand. The search for life in space is like looking at the life within us, and that search is only just... Turns out K2-18b seems to have water vapor, which is a good sign for life. But get this, it also has a molecule that we usually see with living stuff here on Earth. It's got scientists pretty excited. This video is all about that possibility. We're going to look at why K2-18b is so special and what it could mean for what we know about the universe. This planet is way out there, 120 light years away. It's what they call a super-Earth or sub-Neptune. Basically, it's a planet that's different from anything we have in our own solar system. Because of this, it's a puzzle for scientists. K2-18b is in a spot where it could have liquid water on its surface, like our oceans. But it's way closer to its star than we are to the sun. So a year there is only 13 Earth days. The good news is the star it orbits doesn't blast out as much heat as our sun. This allows water to exist in their atmosphere. The Webb telescope didn't just find water. It also found methane and carbon dioxide. Methane is cool because it breaks down fast, so finding it means something is probably making it. Even cooler, they might have found dimethyl sulfide. DMS on Earth is made by tiny ocean bugs. If it's on K2-18b, that could mean at the very least there's some kind of tiny life out there. Now the star K2-18b orbits is pretty intense radiation-wise, which isn't great for life. But if the planet has the right stuff, like a good atmosphere and the right temperatures for liquid water, who knows? Some scientists think K2-18b could be a Hycean planet. That's a sub-Neptune with a thick hydrogen-rich atmosphere and maybe huge oceans. These planets could trap heat and might have what it takes for bacteria to live. And because they're bigger, they're easier to spot with telescopes. To learn more, scientists looked at K2-18b as it passed in front of its star. When that happened, the Webb telescope grabbed the light that went through the planet's atmosphere. By looking at which colors are missing in that light, they can figure out what's in the air. It's like reading a rainbow. 
If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Imagine if the line between what's real and what's sci fi was blurry. That's kind of what's happening with K2 18B. It's got everyone, scientists and regular people, super interested. The fact that it might be a Hycean world, a big watery planet with a hydrogen atmosphere, makes it a top pick in the hunt for life on other planets. These atmospheres are thick, making them hard to study with standard tools. That's where the James Webb Space Telescope comes in. You can see the details of these atmospheres like never before. With K2-18b, it spotted methane and carbon dioxide. Those gases in certain amounts can suggest there might be life around, since they're often linked to biological stuff on Earth. But we have to keep in mind that they could also be from non-living processes. The possible find of DMS, that gas that's mostly made by ocean bugs on Earth, has really got the public interested. But scientists are being careful. The signal for DMS isn't a sure thing yet. Plus, even if it's there, it might not be from life. So we need to do more digging to make sure. Still, K2-18b is a big deal because it gets us thinking about a big question. Are we alone? It doesn't prove aliens are out there. But it opens our minds to how and where life might pop up. As our tech gets better, it's getting easier to find signs of life on other planets. This is just the start. We'll keep watching these planets. And each time we get closer to figuring out if there's life beyond Earth. One thing's for sure, the universe is more amazing than we thought. As we get more info from telescopes, scientists are getting better at guessing what these exoplanet atmospheres are like. If we even find tiny life on another planet, that would change everything biology, philosophy, how we see ourselves. It would mean life isn't just a weird accident, but something that happens whenever the conditions are right. That's why everyone's so excited about K2-18b. It's not just a planet. It's a chance to see how life might work in other parts of the galaxy. If life's there, it might be totally different from what we expect. Adapted to a hydrogen atmosphere and deep oceans. But scientists are telling everyone to hold their horses. We have to double-check any signs of life so we don't jump to conclusions. In the past, getting too excited too soon has caused problems. So scientists from all over the world are working together to get a full picture of K2-18b. They're building better tools and planning new missions to study these ocean worlds. In the coming years, the search for life will get more focused thanks to what we're learning from K2-18b. New telescopes will scan planets for signs of life with crazy accuracy. For now, K2-18b is one of the most interesting spots. It makes us wonder what life might be like on other planets and inspires us to explore, be curious, and keep looking. As we search for others out there, we're also learning more about ourselves, our desire to explore, understand, and connect. The search for life in space is really a reflection of our own lives. And it's just beginning. K2-18b isn't the only planet out there that might be like this. It's just the one we're looking at right now because of the hints it's giving us. There are lots of other exoplanets we've found, and many more we haven't. But the thing is, we now know how to look. Tools like the JWST are helping us peel back the layers of these faraway worlds. We're learning how to read their atmospheres, understand their temperatures, and even guess what their weather might be like. All of this is giving us a clearer idea of where life could be hiding. It's kind of wild to think that we're basically reading the ingredients list of another planet's sky from across the galaxy. But that's what's happening. And as we learn more, our definition of a habitable world keeps expanding. It used to be that we were just looking for planets like Earth. Same size, same temperature, same atmosphere. But now, we're realizing that life might be able to survive in places that are way different. Maybe life doesn't need Earth-like conditions. Maybe it thrives under thick hydrogen skies or in oceans twice as deep as anything we've got here. That's what makes planets like K2-18 be so interesting. They challenge what we think we know about life. So scientists are diving deeper, literally and figuratively. They're running simulations, making models, writing papers, and debating all the what-ifs. They're asking big questions. What does life even mean? How would we recognize it if we found it? Could it be totally unrecognizable to us? It's not just about finding something that looks like a fish or a plant could be microbial, chemical, or something else entirely. And if we ever do find it, 
how would we prove it's alive? That's why the data from the JWST is so important. It's giving us clues, but it's also raising more questions. Like, how do we know that DMS isn't being made by some weird non-living chemistry we've never seen before? What if methane and carbon dioxide are coming from volcanoes or other natural processes we don't fully understand yet? That's why scientists are being careful. The last thing they want is to jump to conclusions and then have to walk it back. That's happened before, and it makes everyone more cautious now. Still, there's excitement. You can feel it in every interview, every article, every new image from the JWST. People want this to be real. They want that discovery. Not just because it would be historic, but because it would mean we're not alone. It would mean that life, any kind of life, is not just a one-time accident on a small blue planet. It would mean the universe is alive in more ways than we ever imagined. So we keep watching. We keep pointing our telescopes at the sky, collecting data, comparing notes, checking and double-checking. Every piece of light that reaches us from a planet like K2-18b is a puzzle piece, and we're slowly putting the picture together. It's not complete yet, not even close, but it's clearer than it's ever been. And the thing is, this is just the beginning. The tools we have now are powerful, but the tools we're building are even better. The next generation of space telescopes, ground-based observatories, and deep space missions will let us see more, farther, and in greater detail. They'll let us test our theories, confirm our hunches, and maybe, just maybe, find the answers we've been chasing for so long.